Robert Troy. Thank you very much, uh, Well, uh, Minister, uh, can I start off by complimenting and thanking the, the number of various speakers who spoke this evening, and uh, every man and woman who spoke uh, spoke so in a very positive manner and are very favourably disposed to, to the motion and to uh, the pu public policy of cycling. I think it, it is unfortunate that the government chose um, to oppose this motion. And the only reason the government has chosen to oppose this motion is for political reasons. No other, no other reason. I went to Minister Ross last night. I told him, give us a, a, a compromise motion this morning and let's come together, united in this House, and support an issue that, as Deputy Munster said earlier on, is very important and isn't being gotten right at the current time by government. Because if it was, the gallery would not be free, uh, full here this evening, a week out from Christmas, because people are genuinely concerned uh, in relation to how this policy has been pursued uh, over the last uh, number of months. And can I ask that the government would reflect over the Christmas period and don't divide the House on a motion on cycling where there was such um, common uh, thoughts and contributions uh, here this evening. I was, I suppose, not going to apologise as a party for bringing forward this motion because our party has a good track record in relation uh, to cycling policy. It was a previous Minister for Transport, Noel Dempsey, that brought forward the first and only national policy uh, framework on cycling. It hasn't been updated since. I've raised this issue numerous times by way of parliamentary questions, priority questions in, in, at the committee. I was part of a, a, a delegation to visit Netherlands earlier in the year, and we're the only party in this House that has published an up-to-date policy uh, in relation to uh, cycling. So we get that this is a big issue, and we will continue to push this issue, and we will expect that government will respond to this. And I have to say, Minister Ross is not believed, unfortunately. He can come in here tonight and he can make promises in terms of what's going to happen into the future. But people are judging on him on what he has done thus far. In his time as Minister, he has cut the budget, the national cycling budget. In his time as Minister, he has over-promised and under-delivered. Just look in the whole area of the minimum passing distance. For one whole year, he resisted efforts by his cabinet colleagues to bring forward legislation in this regard. He then went out and published, uh, held a press conference to try and stop us debating an amendment at a committee stage and promised that this would be done within weeks. Almost 12 months later, it's still not done. So forgive us if we don't accept his bona fides when he talks about segregated lines be done as part of the Bus Connects programme. Because as someone who has engaged in the Bus Connects programme since it was published over the last two years, I know that there will be no new segregated uh, cycle lane built for a minimum of three years by the time it goes through planning, CPO, tendering, etc. And can I put it on the record here this evening, the cycling community have reservations in relation to design uh, of the segregated cycle tracks. They need to be listened to. They need to be engaged with, and I hope that they are. Minister, you spoke about multi-modes of transport. I don't know when's the last time you were on public transport. If you tried to bring a bus on a train, or tried, sorry, tried to bring a bike on a train, or tried to bring a bike on a bus, there's no facility, and there's certainly no facility to park them at either side of the destination. We have so much work to do. We need to unite in this House and get to that work. We need accelerated investment in cycling, and if we do that, we will encourage greater participation in cycling. If we accelerate our investment, we'll ensure we have safer roads. We will reduce congestion. We will improve our health of our cyclists and the health of the environment, and overall, everybody will be a winner. Gormagod. Thanks, Stephanie.